Red Wolves, and we are underway. Geiger will take it a step in the end zone and bring it out. And Geiger up to the 26-yard line where he's tackled by Logan Westcott, and that's where the Trojans go on offense. Line. And Hatcher on his first play, going to throw it deep on the far sideline. It's caught by Bayless. Man down, he's going to go the distance. How about Lane Hatcher on his first snap with Arkansas State, throws a 92-yard touchdown pass, and Arkansas State has the early lead. So first and 10 for Troy from their own 49. Blitz is coming. They pick it up. Ball slips out of Barker's hand. It's scooped up by Arkansas State. That's going to be another score. Logan Westcott takes it in, and it's 13 to nothing, Arkansas State. Barker to the air, and Todd over the shoulder inside the 20 and out of bounds. And Reggie Todd with his second catch of the ball game, and it's a big one. Whittemore on the hold and Cameron Kay on the snap, and the kick is good. Arkansas State. Pooch kick. We'll go to the far side, fair catch is bobbled. It's recovered by Troy at the 26 yard line. So a break goes the Trojans way. You deep. Offenses like to go deep after big turnovers. They're going for their shot right there in the end zone. Touchdown, Troy, Troy Eper. On the good end of a 26 yard touchdown reception and it's 14 to nine. Too much, kind of throw short and let them go long. Hatcher going to wing it out here to the near side, caught by Bayless. That's his third grab, a little hesitation move, and Bayless is all the way down to the 21-yard line That's before Pettis gets him on the ground. Eight to be back home, and now getting his opportunity to start with Logan Bonner out for the season. Touchdown to Merritt. Touchdown, Arkansas State, and it's 20 to 10. Air. And Barker sprints out to his right and throws, complete to Whittemore, and that's going to be a first down at the 26-yard line. Time runs out and a quarterback sack, and that is Merrill who <laughs> slings Barker to the ground like a rag doll. Or Troy with this defense mixing it up is kind of stalling out this Red Wolves offense. Ball is out, Troy recovers, Chapman Fumbled the ball. I don't think they ever blew the play dead. He was still moving his feet, and Carlton Marshall comes up with the fumble recovery. Actions to his offensive line as Clark goes in motion. Pocket for Barker. Got a man open. Touchdown, Troy. <laughs> Brett Clark was the man who went in motion. Apparently, nobody picked him up. So now first and 15 from the 38. Hatcher trying to squeeze it into a tight spot for Bayless. And that's broken up by Will Sunderland. That was his fifth catch of the game. He's over 160 yards receiving. Now they go up top and going deep. Man wide open. Merritt touchdown, Arkansas State. Going up top, far sideline. And caught by Reggie Todd inside the 10-yard line. Great job of concentration by Reggie Todd. A whole lot of hand battling going on with that ball in the air, and he won the fight. Ball here. Going to be a run, and it's Geiger into the end zone. Touchdown, Troy. Kick is on its way, and it is good. 36-yard field goal for Groupie. In, and uh, if you have not seen those, I certainly encourage you to read those and go back and watch the video tributes and the story of Blake and Wendy and their family. Moving stuff. Here's the return by Geiger. Geiger out across the 40. And how often do we see that happen when there's a little bit of a bobble? Number it one, seems Hayley to throw Geiger the, the synchronicity of the kick coverage off, and it turns into a big return. Cover Drop a ball like that, you're injured. Barker to the air, caught by Geiger. Steps out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Red zone scores 83% of the time they're in there. They score 67% touchdowns. That's a touchdown to McLean. Touchdown, Troy. And the Trojans a PAT away from pulling even with a minute to play in the half. 
Pass complete. Merritt is stuck right away. Merritt caught it and got nailed. And the deep man for Arkansas State standing at the 10. It does not go to him. Instead goes to Foreman at the 20-yard line. And Foreman up to the 34. So he picks up 14 on the return. And pretty good field position for Arkansas State as they get the ball first here in the second half. Lane Hatcher has impressed in his debut. Hatcher with a clean pocket. Now it breaks down and now takes a sack. Silo with the sack back at the 30-yard line. Third down and long sack for Jarvis Hayes back at the 26-yard line. So Troy comes out, applies the heat, picks up two sacks on Arkansas State's opening possession, and the Red Wolves have to punt. Can they get something going in the run game? Barker stands in the pocket, fires across the middle. It's caught by Geiger at the 46-yard line. The junior center. Heavy rush, Barker gets away from Bradley King, throws underneath for Geiger, who came back to make the catch, and lunges forward for a first down at the 25-yard line. Kick on its way, good. Troy on top, 34-31. So first and 10, ball at the 25, and complete across the middle to Bayless. That puts him over two. 100 yards as he's up to the 41-yard line. 16-yard pickup, and he was that close to being a touchdown. Looks like the receiver there just putting enough air under it so he could go make a play. So Hatcher back out there on offense, fires to the sideline. That's caught by Adams. He's wide open. Man to beat down there inside the 10 and dropped at the 8. He's had a big game, both safety and corner going with him and leaving Jonathan Adams wide open. Touchdown, Arkansas State. As Jamal Jones, Jones takes it in from seven yards out and pinballs into the end zone for the score. Red Wolves back on top, 37-34. You're in Europe. Man, they've had some great <laughs> players. Leotis McKelvin, too. Big run up the middle. Billingsley across the 50 and still on his feet. And finally dragged down from behind at the 27. The biggest one of the game for either team as Billingsley gets loose. Barker, got to watch from behind. Runs through the defense and slides down at the seven-yard line. Westcott was bringing, breathing down the back of his neck, and somehow he was able to escape. 22 yards, and this is another 22-yarder, and it is good. And now Troy down a point. Goes in two pass breakups. Barker in trouble. He's going to go down at the 29-yard line. William Bradley King got the sack at the 11 to kick it. Heavy rush, it's blocked. And Arkansas State's going to take over inside the 35-yard line. Arkansas State, they get the ball back. Let's see if they take a shot at the end zone. They do. Jump ball. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Jonathan Adams went up top and left over the 6-4 corner, Will Sunderland for the touchdown. Rush coming at Barker, runs away from it, throws on the run, and a battle for the ball. Who won that thing? They haven't ruled whether that was a catch or an interception. That's going to be a catch for Troy. Looking down in 10. Barker to this near sideline. That's caught by Gibson. And Gibson, that'll be the first catch. That's for Timmy Gibson. For Timmy Gibson. Top team in the Sun Belt on third down is Troy. And touchdown, Troy. Touchdown for the Trojan. Geiger with the touchdown catch. Eight yard Caleb scoring Barker strike one, from Caleb, Caleb Barker, Barker on touchdown. third down. Hatcher to the far side. That's a first down catch for Adams. Adams did not have a catch in the first half. He's had six for close to 90 yards here in the second half. Hatcher going up top, near side, jump ball, and intercepted by Sunderland at the one-yard line. This time, Sunderland wins that battle with Bayless. First career interception for Hatcher on what had otherwise been a spectacular night. And Troy stops the scoring threat by Arkansas State. 
field goal gives them the lead. And Sumter's already hit. That's going to be a safety as Chambers gets the safety on the tackle in the end zone. Billingsley never got out of the red. Hasn't been spectacular, but it's worked. Hatcher to the air, near side, and Merritt, did he come down with it? My goodness, Merritt just made a spectacular catch at the six-yard line between. Kick is on its way and good. And so a seven-point lead. That was the safe play. Safe play there to put the tack the three points on, make Troy have to go score a touchdown to tie this game. The situation's in high school, and he seems to be very confident that he can play on this level. Short kick is fielded at the 30-yard line. And this is Reggie Todd. Remember, he returned one all the way back against Southern Miss from about that same spot a couple of weeks ago at a 69-yard kick return, return touchdown. Return. This time, a nice return. And that decision to short kick it, I hate those decisions. I get the fact you don't want to kick deep, but I always hate those decisions to short kick because now Troy's working from the 45. Troy from the 45, they're down a touchdown. Barker stands in there, dumps it deep. Intercepted inside the 20-yard line. They give it right back as Edmonds comes up with the pick. Hatcher fires. Intercepted at the 50-yard line. Carlton Marshall comes up with a huge play to get the rock back for his team. Right at two minutes to play. Heavy rush coming. Barker gets it out of there, complete to Todd for a first down. At the 39-yard line. Plenty of time. Make sure everybody's lineup is all about executing the two-minute drill. Pass complete to Clark. Holds on again. Second big catch for him on this series. With one throw. Rush is heavy. He senses it. Steps aside. Throws complete to Whittemore right there at the sticks. What did we say about Luke Whittemore when we started this game? This kid has the bag of finding that third down, first down marker on third down and picking up the first. 